About eight years ago, I was diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease, and I'm now in stage three, according to the medical community. In December of 2020, this, this just this past year, I noticed I was feeling a lot more pain in my right kidney. And it was getting to the point where it was debilitating. It would, it would radiate up my back into my neck, and it was just an awful sensation, and, and it was hard to function on a, on a daily basis to get through work and to get through home life with the children. Um, doctor did finally prescribe a, um, a narcotic to help with the pain, but it didn't, it, it made it so that I could get through the day. I was groggy. I was in a fog all through the day because of this medication and we're to the point where I have to restart things. So I was, I was reaching out to the Lord, just asking him why this was, why this was the case. Why did I have to endure this for month after month? It, it lasted about a good three months of this daily, in, day in, day out pain. And finally, I resigned myself after speaking to a coworker to, to reveal all this to my wife and to pray with her about the situation and, and get it out, get it all out on the table. We prayed and we cried and we, we lamented to the Lord and we got things out. And I asked for forgiveness for the bitterness that I was building up towards the Lord in that time. I felt like I was, you know, there was some resistance there. And, and until that resistance was taken away through that prayer of repentance, he couldn't do his work. And later that day, I received a package that I had ordered about 10 days previous. And in that package, there was a one page devotional. And on that in bold print was the verse from 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 5, where it says, I have heard your prayers and I've seen your tears. And that's just what had happened. We were just doing that. And so I had finally got my confirmation that God was listening the entire time. That so in that prayer time, I was asked to go to the altar and, and receive a prayer of healing, pray, prayer of healing. So I did that that following Sunday. And, um, and then Monday when I woke up, I went and got ready for work as I always do positioned a shower jet on the back like I always do to take the pain, to help with the pain, and noticed that I had no pain. The pain was gone. The pain was 100% gone. The, that debilitating pain that had tore my life up for the last three months was, was eradicated. So after the fact, I went back to that verse and I read the next words in that verse, which said, behold, I will heal you. I was so excited that he had heard me I didn't follow through with what else he could do for me. And behold, he healed me, took away all the pain. The pain is 100% gone. And with that, once he took that pain, he replaced it with, with a gentle hand on my back. I could feel someone touching my back for weeks after that healing occurred. And then in the last, in the service where, where my wife had prayed had done her prayer and gave her testimony is the last time I felt that hand. And I know he's continuing his work in me. He's restoring, he's restoring me, he's reviving me. He is redeeming me every day. And I'm thanking him every day for that work because if you haven't experienced pain like that, you may not understand how transformative it is to, to not have that pain anymore. I just praise him and, and thank him for everything he's done, amen.